Hi! No, I'm going to start it. Right <laughs> my name's Kim Joy. I was on season nine of the Great British Baking Show. I have my own book out, ta -da, which I'm very excited about. So I was going to show you how to decorate some store-bought biscuits and turn them into mini works of art. Royal icing is icing sugar mixed with egg white. So the egg white just makes it a bit stretchier and easier to pipe. I'm going to add some of the icing sugar, the egg white. Actually, we're just going to use the hand whisk because it's a little easier. So the process of getting onto the Great British Bake Off is quite a long process. During the audition process, they're looking for people who can, number one, bake and bake a variety of different things, not mega experienced. They're also looking for people who can bake and talk at the same time, or at least pretend that they can. <laughs> Calling it a kitto bite, because it's about a wedding of two cats. Amazing. More cats should be... Shoot day is really, it's a really long day, so you start at like 5, 6 a.m. and you finish really, really late. Baking's quite physical and you're on your feet and all of that. But then there's also the emotional side of waiting around because, you know, your brain's like, what if I throw my cake on the floor and do something really weird like that? So you're knackered. You don't find time to balance day-to-day -day life and bake off. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> I have coloured some of my royal icing, put it in piping bags. It's blue. <laughs> so I'm going to outline it with this. This is going to be a self-portrait, but I'm just going to fill it all with blue and then let that semi-set. Toothpick for it, just in case there's any bubbles. Yeah, I've got some stiffer white icing in here and then some of these. I don't know what these biscuits are called, actually. But I was going to try and stack them to make like a house. It's going to be a Halloween house. I was lucky I was on a show like Bake Off and not Kitchen Nightmares or Chopped or something with Gordon Ramsay, like shouting at me. Oh. It's chef. fucking raw! Yes, Chef! Generally, it's like a nice competition and you are looking out for each other and you want to make sure that everyone does the best that they can. But it is very stressful, mostly because you're being judged on something that you love doing. I think the hardest thing was when I did Chelsea Buns for Paul Hollywood. He said to me that they looked boring. And to me, I don't care what you say. You can say something tastes horrible, but if you say something's boring, I'm like, you what? <laughs> I feel like it's a comment on my character. I'm like, you're calling me boring. <laughs> Yeah, I think baking helps with mental health just generally because it's structured. You can sort of plan your day around it. It's comforting that it's structured, but then you can like express yourself a little bit with it. I think it touches all your senses, so you kind of like, it smells good. You know, you get to like feel it, taste it, and you're really concentrating on getting the method right and all of that. So you don't have time to like worry so much. And it tastes great, and you can give it to people. A lot of people have messaged me about, yeah, that they watch the Bake Off and it, it's something that helps them de-stress and just unwind and just that it's a show about baking and all we care about is, you know, whether our cake doesn't rise as well and doesn't have a soggy bottom. <laughs> So yeah, that's one building that you could do, but you could do other buildings of other biscuits, like a tower, like, do you know if you did that? And that's a, that's a tent. You could do the Bake Off tent, <laughs> like this. Here is, yeah, the round biscuit I flooded earlier, and I am going to do like a very simple cartoon version of my face. <laughs> I used to work in mental health myself, so I was all, I've always wanted to help other people with that. So the fact that I can go on a show like The Bake Off that helps people who are watching it, I feel like, I feel productive and useful. I wouldn't want to be on a show that just makes people feel bad about themselves. I'm just doing all the baking full time now, so I'm not working in mental health anymore. looks like me now. That's what I look like. <laughs> so I hope that was interesting and if you want to check out some more recipes then go have a look at my book. <laughs>